Okay, my name is Bea Beste. I used to be a management consultant and then I founded schools. I founded eight schools in Germany across different cities and um, well, I led them for five years and then I needed a change. And at the beginning of 2011, I stepped out of the management role at Forbes and went on an education expedition. And um, I went to India, I went to Australia, I went to Indonesia, to the US. And looked. To, look, to look at schools? Or? I did not look only at schools. I looked at interesting projects and things that work in education. Of course, there were a lot of schools, but I went also to kindergartens, I went to universities, I went to mixed projects. Um, I've seen things that works work additionally to schools like for instance play for life australia which is a foundation sends a big container with industry crap clean industry crap mm -hmm. to schools and let kids do discovery play with it mm -hmm. um and I've, I've been for instance at the stiletto spy school in the usa which what's is the name stiletto spy school Stiletto spy. Stiletto spy School. Okay. This is actually an ability training for women to take more leadership and responsibility, so to cope better with life. But it's done in a playful way with the idea that a spy, like a Bond girl, would have all this ability. So you go in with the idea that you are trained like a spy and then you learn different ability for life, life out of that. So after that journey, how long did you travel? To I traveled for four months mm -hmm. across the world. And then I have one idea in my hand, which is how to create playful learning experiences. And this was the beginning of Tollerbox? This was exactly the beginning of Tollerbox, where I thought about what if we do an educational thing that feels like playing and fun and comes directly into the homes of the family. Okay, so before we start talking about Toller Box... You need to change something. Yeah, hold on. This is a Toller Box. Could you please show us what's inside and explain more about the Toller Box, <laughs> about the concept? Uh, yeah, yeah, please. Okay, so you have to imagine a box like this comes each month to a family at home. It's addressed directly to the children, the children who are between three and eight years, but we thought about it to make it fun also for all kinds of ages. So the box comes in and then a kid would open it and would find first an overview about what's inside. Then you would have a letter for the parents that they would eat, they would um, blah, blah, blah. Okay, you will find then a letter for the parents right. that they would receive and open and read. And then you would have different games. We call them quests in English. In German, it's the word we need is the word Entdeckerspiel, which is a kind of discovery play. But how you call them in English? In English, we would call them quests. Oh, quests. It's like quests. a quest. Okay. Mm -hmm. You would go on a quest and everything inside the box is designed to foster the natural curiosity of kids okay. and to offer open discovery play. That's the most important for us. So you would have something in the box. It comes always in little packages. Everything is packed and children would wrap it up and look inside. It's like and Christmas, then, once a month Christmas for the children. It's like birthday and Christmas together yeah. once a month. And then you would have things that you would need to assemble together. Like this example is a barometer for, well, for emotions. So each, each box has a topic or a theme? We work on a theme for each box. We have different boxes. This is our starter box. So it has a little bit of everything and it explains the world of the Tolas. Another box could be about colors. Another box would be about presents. Mm -hmm. uh, the new box com coming out in January will be about music and noises and mm -hmm. how do you perceive them. So we follow a topic and offer a different range of games based on an educational concept. So you would have this kind of things and you would, you would have always things to put together 
alone. But what we try to do is not to offer extra materials that are something special and you can't get them in the world, but actually things that you would get from different stores so that you can remake the games and just by understanding the principle of it. So let me show you one more. This is the Big Bubbles games that would go like you get those sticks and you get a rope to put together and then you get some well, material inside, it says exactly what it is, so you can remake it with normal things that you would find in your household. And then it has a creative instruction that kids open and they will see, first it shows what it's in that quest and what are the questions we're covering and then it has a kind of instructions about how you would deal with it. Mm -hmm. The most important for us is not to do like you need to assemble something and then it's done, but to make kids understand the principle of how things work and to foster their natural creativity so they can take it further. Mm -hmm. And that's the most interesting thing, so that they don't stop by I've done it, I've tinkered it, but they go further and this fosters their imagination. Okay. So you said you created the taller, taller box to give families the chance to get uh, additional education or what's well, the pedagogical background? Um, there are two points. First of all is the principle that you learn through play. So learning by playing is what we call that. And it's a basic understanding that we want to send to families so that they go into the idea of learning with humor, with relaxation, and that's something that the whole thing we create in there, well, breathes. The other thing is that behind it, there is a educational concept. We call it the play education concept, and it's based on the concept of the multiple intelligences by Gardner. What is that? That's a quite renowned concept by Howard Gardner, which says, actually the basic principle of it, that it says, it's not important how intelligent your child is. It's important how is your child intelligent. Mm -hmm. So, how is your child rather number and logic intelligent? Or is your child music intelligent? Or is your child people intelligent? Which is a huge difference. And it's based on the idea that each child has a talent or a strength that he or she can build up by motivating and by good experiences. And that's what we try to send in this box at the homes of the people. Things that, so games, discovery play, that covers all this kind of intelligences so that the parents can find out how is my child intelligent, how is my child strong, so that they can give their children more and give their also this feeling of comfort that they are <coughs> proud of them. You say giving, but it's also a business model you have behind it, correct? So of course. people subscribe to your Toller Box monthly and how it's does a, it? It's a monthly subscription project and um, it costs, it costs depending on the subscription model, you've chosen something between 20 euros and 25. Um, yes, we are creating like, um, like, the, like a 3D magazine, we are creating for each month themes and there's the box coming with the physical experiences, but we back up it also with online stuff, which is videos, it can be app recommendations, it can be recommendations for books, for online books, for different things that are connected with the monthly theme so that the family can start from that physical project, from understanding, from doing things and then go to the online world and have there a lot of cur curated content by us according to the theme of the box. So you basically need you need the digital world to, in order to complete the toller box, so to speak. 
we all need the digital world okay. in order to complete our lives. That's what we are, that's what the world is like. And we are very impressed that a lot of parents are very keen to not start with the digital world, but to give their children, first of all, the physical experiences, but are very happy that we create digital content that is selected and curated by experts in order to create a whole world out of it. And so far you you created three different boxes, each month one, each month one. Well. And the next one you said is going to be sound and music. Yes. Um, and to this you create, again, online content so people can listen yes. to what you created. We started in October with the first box. Then we continued with um, different other themes, like for instance, in December, we had a box that was related to the idea of giving each other presents. And we had an overview of how people give each other presents around the world. So um, our monthly story that comes into the box with the characters of the box, the Tolas, um, was a whole world connected to the idea of exploring how people give each other presents. This was connected to December. And now in January we are creating the world of music and of sounds. And we take it from how our music instruments build to the idea also what happens if somebody is deaf, if somebody cannot hear. Mm -hmm. And we are presenting, especially online also, how people who cannot hear or and then connected to it speak properly how do they communicate through the international sign languages and this is something that is interesting for kids because it's something they they mostly don't know if they don't have such a case in the family and they understand a lot about the world so it's not just about music and noise it's also about how this world works after three boxes or the fourth coming out now what are your learnings from what you're doing or from the <clears throat> response of people, of children, of parents? What, what is your take on that? Um, we get a lot of customer feedback. It's very interesting. These are young parents. They communicate a lot and they send us mails. They put their feedback on Facebook, on our fan page. So they, they give us positive but also new ideas. The positive learning is that we are right with the idea of discovery play. So that we are not just about tinkering things, but creating experiences that kids can take further. On the other side, we've learned a couple of things, like for instance, um, people were worried um, about how much waste material that we have in the box. And we are learning how to create those games by using everything that comes inside. So even that paper we wrap our games into, our quests, we use it now to create again quests out of it. Like for instance, this paper is, um, is colored and it dies off. So we put it together with water to create color experiments. Um, another learning was that the box is quite full, fully packed, mm -hmm. which is first a good feeling for the people because they get a value for money. On the other side, it's a lot inside and people told us that it creates also a little bit stress for parents by, well, having so much in the box and then the next box comes and they aren't through with that one. So we've changed the third quest and the box is a very short one, something that needs not a lot of attention span. Um, so we, we shape a little bit also our quests to the amount of time that people have. And we've learned that partnerships are very important, so we are going to create a new theme boxes together with partners. So when it's going to be a box about food, we are going to cooperate with a food provider and we're going to have also a box about energy and we're going to cooperate with an energy provider then. In today's cramped world you say parents' participation is necessary. Do they really still have the time to go through all your instructions to all your book booklets, read and play with the children or...? Well, 
the huge benefit that we give them, and this was the idea, parents normally want to spend child time with their children. The problem is that what's wasting their time is getting all the materials, getting all the ideas. So we give them also a very convenient product.